See if we get a, a, a SSR in it or something. One dead ball. That's all I'm running on this banner. Okay, so. Um, who do you guys want? Wait, wait, whoa. What the hell? Oh. So they changed the way they're looking at this. Okay. Take it? Wait. Oh, Ruby draw. Uh. Okay. So who you guys want to look at first? Sturm or Drank? Uh, I'm surprised they're not grand, but that's okay. Start in order? Okay. So we're we looking at Sturm's weapon first. Proalum? I guess Proalum, I think it's called. Um, Massive water damage to a foe. Dodge tank and counter effect to main character three hits. That's, a, that's okay. Um, I don't think dodge encounter is that big of a thing right now, but maybe in the future. We have a big boost to water allies attack, which is okay as well. I mean, could be worse, right? Small attack, something. And now we have the skill that was on Nemonade's axe going to water, making this weapon automatically viable once it gets to skill level 15 for far high level or any type of content where you get hit with uh, multiple AOE attacks. Currently, it wouldn't be viable. I don't think it goes to skill level 15, but once it goes to skill level 15, it, it's a weapon you can look at. It's the same thing as no money axe. So that's, that's really good, actually. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it goes to skill level 15. As for Sturm herself, though, let's go to go back. Sturm herself, her kit happens to have. So she's draft, water, attack, saber unit. Okay. Massive water damage to a foe. Burn effect. So water now has burn. I don't think there's any other burn characters on water. Hit to attack and defense stat. Okay, so already having a Monica's Ogi, that's pretty good. Okay. Monica Ogi, that's good. Water damage to a foe. Bonus damage to a foe with burn effect. That's a skill one, which is a red skill, keep that in mind. Well, that's dual swords. Silver tongue. Boost to a foe's multi-attack rate. Boost to a foe's multi-attack rate. I mean, the boss, right? Yeah, it's the boss. Bonus water damage effect to caster. Boost to critical hit rate and keen effect. Hmm. Keen already makes her kind of hard because I believe Kaliosho gives keen as well. But I'm expecting this to be a massive like 80% bonus damage, right? Because it gives like a, a, a buff to the boss. So I expect it to be like something big. That's what I'm expecting. Fill one charge bar diamond on a foe. Activates caster's next charge attack. Hold on one second. Activates caster's next charge attack twice. So she gets double Reactive. Okay, so she gets reactivation. Um, just to herself though. Oh, what the fuck? She has guaranteed triple attacks while a foe has a buff. Damn. Is there ever a time you want you have to want the foe to have a boss a buff? What? When a foe uses a special attack, activates dual swords. Oh. 
So she gets, keeps casting this every time the foe does a special attack, making her pretty good for um, Ogi, actually. She's a very good um, EX Plus character, because what's going to happen is that she's going to Ogi, apply defense down, stackable, and then when the if you didn't kill it in that turn, when the boss hits you with a special, so you're going to activate dual swords. Now, I don't know how much it's going to do, but it should do a lot. Cause you, if you're lucky, it should apply the burn effect to, to, to the boss. What are her EMPs? Anybody know her EMPs? Cause what she's going to need is debuff success rate. Cause you're going to be relying on her burn and her attack and defense down. Well, main, mainly her defense down. Her attack down depends on the content. Does anyone have her EMPs or no? Actually. Okay. So Sturm EMPs are not that great for what you want her to do. If you're using her for debuffs, I don't know her hit rate, but she probably missed a lot because she has no debuff success node. Now, for offense, these fucking EMPs are crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, if there was a character that ranks purely on EMPs, this is your character. Critical, 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 water attack, water attack, CA damage, CA damage. That's too many notes. Uh, for a person that is going for 18, you definitely want to max out the two water attacks and the three criticals. That's going to leave you three notes left because you'd be at 15. Um, for the last three, I would put one in ECA for the 10% each, and then maybe one in a double attack. I don't know how often she's going to multi-attack, but um, you could put one in double attack. If you're ringing her, you're going to max out critical, water attack, water attack, CA damage, critical, critical, CA damage, double attack, and you can throw the rest into filler, into defensive options, because she's going to have the boss do quite a bit of damage to her because he wants the boss to have a buff to keep her I think her 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 gimmick going on. So you you want guaranteed triple, right? She wants the boss to have that. You can even drop if you can somehow have it that the boss like it's going to always have a buff on it, you can drop her double attack because she gets guaranteed triple attack, right? with the uh, passive skill. But that's how I would put her up. Now, I don't know how reliable she's gonna be with doing her Ogi debuffs because of her nodes. So to keep that in mind, if you are using her for EX plus, right? You may have a hard time. I don't know. I don't know currently at the time we're watching this, of this recording, which is 14 minutes into the banner, but if somebody, it, we'll find out more information on it. Is this something you gotta keep in mind of if, you know, listening to this?